Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I'm using the beautiful Graphic 45 Mon Amour collection. This is a stunning collection, and as you saw in the photo, we are making a little uh, mini album that will hold your 3x4 cards that come in the Graphic 45 journaling and ephemera cards. So this is a Lori Whitlock cut, and I got it from the Silhouette online store, which I'll put a link in the description box below. I will show quickly how to make one of these pages without having a cameo if you just want to make one by hand, which is easy to do. Um, Lori Whitlock also has a 4x6 mini album holder, and when you buy the journaling and ephemera cards for cut, from Cut at Home, it comes with both the 4x6 and the 3x4 cards. So it's a great way to hold them. So I already prepped some of it off camera, but I left a couple of it um, to do on camera to show you. And this is going to be for the box. This is cut from the 12 by 12 piece. This is such beautiful paper. So here is what it looks like. And it already comes with the score marks, so let me just go through and fold them on the score marks. Again, I'll be sharing how to make one of these if you don't own a Cameo to cut it out. to add my glue to both the bottom part and the tab. And I plan on using this for journaling and also photos. You can add three by four photos in these as well. So I have eight of them, and I'm just going to stack them. Okay. And now you want to adhere them at the bottom. You can adhere them however you want to. Um, first I have a little spine piece that, again, I cut from the 12 by 12 collection, so I'm going to fold on the score marks and add that to my little spine here. And I think I'm going to glue these together down here. You don't have to. I'm just going to add a little hot glue. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon for decoration. You can add anything you want in this. Twine, ribbon. These are great for all the Graphic 45 ephemera cards. Okay, so now here are some of the 3x4 cards from Graphic 45. So these will just slip right in there.
example, I have a 3x4 photo here, so I can slip that right inside. I will most likely take this back out and um, mat it on some black cardstock to match, but as you can see, the photo fits perfectly in there with the journaling cards as well. So now for the little box, I'm going to put this together, and again, I'm going to fold on the score lines. I'm using a light here that I have that's helping me see where the score lines are. That's why I'm holding it up. I'm just going to fold it on itself here. And now for the lid of our box. So now our little album sits in here perfectly. And I will decorate the front and back of this, but just to show you quickly, if you want to make one of these and you don't have a Cameo, you want for the pockets, I'm showing you how to make the pockets, you cut out a piece of paper at six and three quarters by five and one eighths and on the six and three quarters side, you score at one half and three and five eighths inches. And on the five and one eighth inch side, you score at one inch. So my paper is already cut to the correct size. I'm going to pull out my stylus. And on the six and three fourth inch side, you want to score it at one half inch and three and five eighths. Okay, and on the five and eighth, one eighth inch side, you want to score it at one inch. So now we have the bottom piece which is where you are going to have it hinge together. And then we have our little tab piece here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that on camera. Let me turn it this way. You can probably see it a little bit better. Right here we have our tab piece and then in the middle we have our score piece. So we need to, on the side that we scored one half inch, we need to take out this little tab. So I'm scoring up to my one inch score line, but not going over it. And then I'm going to cut at a tiny angle. Okay. So now let's just follow our score marks and fold on them, give them a good crease. And 
again we can add our glue just doing it quickly for the camera here and then you can if you want to um, edge punch it now would be the time to edge edge use an edge punch on it and then you would place your holes and you don't have to put holes in here if you just want to glue them together like I did if you don't want them to to hold together with ribbon you don't have to so now your three by four cards this is a little bit smaller than a three by four but your three by fours would fit perfectly inside of here so you can either do an edge punch you can do a circle punch if you want to do a circle punch whatever you'd like to do but that's a quick and easy way to make one of these so I'm going to decorate this. Um, I hope you stay with me as I do, and I'll put all the links in the description box below. Please check out Cut at Home's blog, and I'll have detailed photos on this, along with the measurements, again, on how to make your own if you want to. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.